ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths. And in particular, welcome back to From the Depths Most Wanted, because I haven't done one in a while. And because I haven't done one in a while, I felt like uh, doing something for the newer players, the ones who are still perhaps struggling with the game a little bit, wanted to get started with Neater. And I also thought I would do a 3-in-1, because why not? So, as you've probably already guessed by the craft which are on screen right now, and the title of the video, uh, this is uh, about Deepwater Guard Carrier Craft. So, unless I've uh, forgotten about some, that is the Falkenheim, the Tortuga, and the Barracuda. So, uh, varying difficulty, but we're covering all three of them at once, because they're all kind of counted in broadly the same way. So, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, firstly, for everyone who doesn't know what these things are, in order of scary, uh, we've got, or rough order of scary actually, uh, we've got the Falkenheim, which is according to... Uh, actually, all of these things are medium difficulty craft for some reason, which is weird because, honestly, uh, the Falkenheim used to be classed as easy, uh, this is a Zeppelin, or at the very least it is a Zeppelin in disguise. It's got little beady eyes on the front, as you can see. Uh, it's got uh, propellers. Remember, I'm an alpha test, so these are propellers, not deadly blades. Deadly blades are not a thing anymore. And it's a carrier because it's got these two little uh, bombers underneath it, just dropping, uh, or rather firing dumb rockets. So, these are unguided missiles, but if they do hit you, they hurt. And it's got this uh, APS here, uh, which, uh, if you, in case you're wondering... Uh, what it's loaded with, it's just, it is a slightly armor-piercing shell. Not amazing, uh, but if you're uh, still rolling with small craft, or perhaps if you're building out of wood, uh, that is still gonna hurt you quite a bit. So that's uh, the Falkenheim. It's basically, let's show you the insides of this thing, actually. Uh, nothing really to write home about. It's got a bunch of props. It's basically a Zeppelin-shaped thing uh, with propellers all over it. An APS, it's got some uh, docks uh, for its little uh, planes here, and really, you see this, and that's basically what you got. These things are teeny tiny. And then we're talking about the Tortuga, this thing's a little bit bigger and more scary. Uh, this is essentially, well, it's just straight up a carrier. And uh, actually, the AI is called the Nimitz, so that is a reference to Nimitz class carriers in real life. Uh, it's big, it's mean, it's mighty unclean, it's got an APS in the front which I believe is also loaded with semi-armor-piercing uh, shells. Not really, actually. Let's see here. Actually, these are interesting little things. That's a terrible shell. That is a genuinely terrible shell. Oh, dear. But it is 250 uh, millimeters, though, so... Yeah, yeah, Spanish shells at you. Doesn't hurt that much. Uh, this is really one for the new players, I should mention. If you're a veteran... Uh, from the Depths player, uh, this whole video pretty much doesn't apply to you because you probably already know how to deal with these things. And the Super Tweety uh, is a cram bomber, one of the few cram bombers you even find at all uh, in the Neater campaign. It's got a wee cram there that does do a fair amount of explosive damage, uh, but it's mostly completely unarmored, and if you can hit it, it dies. It even has ammo like right at the front, which is very interesting. And the Barracuda, oh yeah, it's also it's got crams, it's got uh, some torpedoes, it's got uh, missile interceptors and stuff like that. Uh, nothing incredibly amazing. Let's show you these torpedoes. These are, uh, these are thumper torpedoes. They're, they are unguided for now, uh, which means they're only really a problem if you're sitting still or if you're slow or if you're at close range. Uh, I only know that because I was doing some combat testing earlier and... Um, yeah, like, these things kept missing, and I was like, what? What? And turns out, like, yeah, they're not guided. So, yeah. No need to worry about that. So, over here, the Barracuda is essentially the Tortuga, but it flies. So, it's got a uh, little uh, APS uh, on the side. It's got little... Uh, those look like... What are they? What are they? Those are little thumpy. Yep, so those are explosive thumpers, which do hurt if they hit you, but non-guided. It's got a bunch of cram cannons on it, which I believe are... Yeah, they're HE frag. And then on the side here, you've got these little... Uh, what are basically flat guns? Oh, there's the Falkenheim doing stuff. Uh, let's go here, access intakes, edit, and yep, that is timed frag. 
so yeah, like, try not to swarm this one with cheap little aircraft. And it's also got Super Tweeties, which are basically the same, uh, from what I understand, as the things uh, on the, uh, what do you call it? Interesting. Oh dear, yeah, these are not optimized little propellers. So yeah, these are the same ones that are on the Tortuga, which again is another reason to, uh, oh no, don't you collide. Uh oh. Oh dearie, dearie, dearie me. That's bad. Oh no. <laughs> the Barracuda is just like, I'm getting out of here. I'm zooming out of that. Alright, so basically what we've got is uh, three craft, all of which have small, annoying little aircraft. Uh, that if you're not prepared for, they'll ruin your day. So, that's basically the thing. They're swarming little bastards that uh, either will scratch you to death if you're not prepared for them, or they'll just take a while to kill. In particular, these Duster Marines uh, that the Falkenheim has, uh, they tend to flop around a lot. So, yeah, they're like I find that they're kind of hard to hit even with missiles because they just flop around, waste your time. Lasers are your best friend. And, um, like I said before... Uh, experience from the Depths players will not have real trouble with, like, any of these craft at all. Uh, but, I fondly remember, back in the day, being a much less experienced player, having trouble with all three of these things. Uh, in particular, the Tortuga, because they're like, oh my word, what is this thing? Get these Tweety Birds away from me. Uh, so, it's one of those things that, uh, it's a very basic building habit that you need to get into if you want to not worry about stuff like this because there are other things in the campaign or just situations where you've got small swarmy things in your face and then other big things shooting at you from a distance and the setup for that is basically all the same so we'll get to that in a second uh, the weaknesses of these things like it's pretty straightforward they don't really have any kind of guided uh, missiles uh, like they're mostly made of wood and, um, yeah, they're like, they're just kind of brittle. Like, pretty much any weaponry you have uh, that can hit them can damage them, which is very convenient. So how do you survive this thing? Well, I will demonstrate that by bringing in um, an example of a ship that survives them quite nicely. Now, one that I was hastily retrofitting uh, in preparation for this video, video. So let's spawn in the Barracuda. And game is paused, and now I'm going to load in the Tower Croc, which is a quite an old design of mine. Uh, but I have spruced it up a little bit uh, to get it in line and up to date, at least a little bit. And sit on you, turn off repair bots. And so, basically, uh, you need to be cram and missile proof, and if you are, like, you're pretty much set to go. So the Tower Croc has a mixture of missile interceptors. I believe that is... Nope, there's no Seawiz on it. Uh, but it does have uh, a quite a handy lamp. Well, yep, you just blew up something like that. Zap, zap, zap. And zap, zap, zap. Uh, the uh, bomb shoots on the Super Tweeties, uh, they're quite easy to dodge. So basically, it's the usual list of uh, anti-cram measures. Is Whoopsie-daisy. Is basically move fast and erratically. Uh, you need sewers, lambs, interceptors are a little bit fiddly, although they do work just fine. And armor enough to handle whatever advanced cannons or dumb fire missiles are, uh, hand are being chucked at you. So, being made mostly of metal and having a... Uh, this is apparently quite a useful cheap armor design. Is just uh, alternating layers of wood and metal because it's just mixing cheap hit points in with armor stacking. So that works quite nicely against explosives. So, yeah, there's uh, just basically anti-cram measures and enough armor to survive uh, basic APS, and you should be fine. And how do you kill it? Well, you'll notice uh, that the Tower Croc is shooting at uh, the Barracuda over there uh, with its main guns, but the secondary guns are going for the Tweeties. Uh, this is the key to dealing with uh, stuff like the Barracuda, like the Falkenheim, the Tortuga, and um, like basically anything that spawns little sub-vehicles at you is have separate AIs set to control uh, different weapon systems and have those weapon systems do different jobs. It's a basic thing, and I stress this because it took me an embarrassingly long time uh, to get in the habit of doing this. It took like several hundred hours before I finally cottoned on and said, like, okay, fine, this is something I should get in the habit of doing. 
So yeah, you basically gotta go um, American uh, World War II battleship style is just, you know, cover your ships in AA guns or some kind of anti-air thing. Uh, do recommend lasers for this because the Deep Water Guard has no laser defense. And if you've got particle cannons, then ooh yay, because no one really has good particle cannon defense. So yeah, so we're going to go look at the AI of our friend here and show you the difference. So down here is the main AI, which is just called one because I'm very unimaginative. And over here we have the target prioritization algorithm card. I'm just going to delete the Barracuda so uh, we're not lulled to sleep by the soothing sound of gunfire. Uh, so the main AI uh, has a set of something like this. doesn't have to look exactly like this, but um, you can uh, set it up how you want. Basically, value for range is pretty much always one, because you want to shoot at things closer to you, generally, uh, because they're easier to hit, and they're more of an immediate problem. And this particular setup also values uh, block count, so it's got value added for block, so it goes for bigger things, and it's got value added for firepower, so it goes for things with uh, more weaponry, basically. Which means uh, the big guns, which in this case are uh, AP... Well, these are actually kind of crappy APS. Ugh! These are... Oh, no, I'm looking at this and I'm cringing. Uh, this is like old, old APS before I knew what I was doing. Uh, so basically, these are like uh, the... What are, what gauge are these? These are 236mm uh, AP, uh, AP heat guns. So they're okay, and they go for the big stuff and like blow holes in it. And then you have a whole bunch of secondaries, and we're going to look at the secondary AI right now. So this is very imaginatively named AI number 2. And here's the target prioritization card, and it's slightly different. It does not... Why the hell does it value armor? That's so annoying. Okay. Let me just save that, otherwise I'm going to forget. Alright, so what we have here is something that doesn't value blocks, it doesn't value firepower. But what it values is things that are close and things that are moving fast. And it has a bonus multiplier for the current target, so it focuses uh, things that are small, or things that are close and things that are fast. And it will shoot at them until they are, well, dead or heavily damaged. So that is the key. And uh, these things are set to different uh, channels. So number two is set to channel two, uh, shock horror. And number one is set to channel one, and if you go up and you look at all these little things right here, this one is set to one, because uh, this guy is a, a little uh, casemate gun that's set to target big stuff. But then you've got these fellas, which are set to target channel two. These are the AA guns, so they shoot at little AA things. Same over here. This guy is essentially a little bootleg uh, phalanx that's here mostly for uh, emotional support. Uh, it's set to channel 2 to shoot at stuff that's close. And over in the front here, I believe these fellas are... E nope, those are set to... What are they set to? What is this set to? That's set to channel 2 as well. Which isn't particularly smart, because radar-guided uh, missiles tend to go for the what, biggest target, whichever it is. So yeah, that ver it's a very, very... Well, I was about to say very simple. It's a pretty straightforward setup, and it works on pretty much everything. So if I spawn in, whoops, if I spawn in the Falkenheim, you'll see pretty much the same result. See that, uh, the split second that uh, the, uh, little Duster Marines, uh, go away. Oh dear. Are they working? Yeah, they're working. So literally everything is going for the Falkenheim right now, because it's closer. But now, you'll see, whoops. I need to track you. So we see the little AA guns are now going for the Dust Marines because they're getting nice and close. And they're probably not going to do anything to us. And that one's pretty dead. And the Falkenheim is getting its socks rocked, as you can see. They actually have folding wings, these little things. That's very nice, very clever. And just the secondary guns are just doing their thing. Zapping these little annoying things, putting them straight into the water. Oh, that one disintegrated. Whee! AI dead! Yay! And the Falkenheim is getting... Yep, okay, that was a big explosion. What happened there? It, uh... Yep, there goes... This thing's mostly hollow space, so I think actually the uh, AP, AP heat might be overkill. Just a little bit. 
We And not quite AI dead, but it's going to be dead very soon. So now instead of having to focus down uh, the little uh, crappy things, uh, we can swat everything at once and it's very convenient. Are you firing? Yeah, you are. Great. Come on, disintegrate. You know you want to. Whee! I'm getting distracted now. It's been a long time since I've shot at a Falkenheim. It's very fun. Very, very fun. We Explode? How is you not blown up yet? Hurry up and blow up. There you go, AI dead. Always bring your EMP along, it's fantastic. And I guess uh, for our final magic trick, we can show off uh, shooting the Tortuga, because it goes mostly the same way. Basically, short answer is have different AI and different weapon systems doing different jobs, and you will be a-okay. It looks, I think the Super Tweety's uh, goofed tremendously. Yep. Sometimes that happens, and it's hilarious. Let's see here. Yep, so now the Super Tweeties are getting super deaded. And this is why it's actually kind of handy for broadsiders, or anything that's like a broadsider really, uh, to kind of uh, have weapons on both sides, because if anything tries to fly over the top of you, it immediately gets shot at by the secondary weapons uh, on the other side. Why? Well, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that thing. Yay, Super Tweeties are getting super dead. It's great. It is, incidentally, this is completely off topic, but... Oh, look at that. The radar guided thingies are doing something useful. Going after Super Tweeties. I knew I did that for a reason. I guess I was smirt. So yeah, like, um... That's basically it, really. Use different AIs to do stuff. And let's see how the Tortuga is doing, because that's hilarious. Uh, not great by the looks of all the block confetti. Wow. What happened? Oh, uh, AI uh, looks like an ammo compartment got taken out. That's what happened. Are any of the Tweety still alive? <laughs> the answer might surprise you. <laughs> the answer's no. <laughs> Now uh, you whoops. Hold on, hold on. We need to follow you, little fella. No! I'm gonna follow you. Are you gonna make magic happen? Nope, you're not. Oh my goodness. Don't follow the Tweeties. Don't follow the Tweeties, you'll get super sick. So yeah, that's basically it. I've already waffled on, on uh, longer than I meant to. So that's basically how you take on the Falkenheim, Tortuga, and Barracuda. Just have... Different AI, doing different jobs, and shoot them a bunch. And if you're confused about any of the things uh, I've talked about, I have, tu I think I have tutorials for pretty much everything I mentioned. So, advanced cannons, the Sea Whiz, Lambs, Interceptors, that kind of stuff. And I highly recommend you look at those. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this support me on patreon or youtube membership if, if you like it really helps and there's fun perks in it for you thank you to all my current supporters and i will see you next time in from the depths most wanted farewell